Do you really need a MacBook with a supported macOS version, unlike this guy? Let's find out. This is a 2010 MacBook Pro. It does not get the latest updates anymore. It is stuck at High Sierra. But I'm going to see if you can still use this guy in 2020. Having the latest macOS version isn't something that you always need. In fact, I actually use this MacBook Pro quite often in my day-to-day uh, -day use. In fact, I'm actually using macOS High Sierra on my Hackintosh. It still can run many applications that I need it to, such as Discord, Safari, which actually still runs the latest version in macOS High Sierra, and I even use some other applications, such as Mac Tracker, which is it's a basic app, but it still works just fine iWeb, this is an older app so it works fine on High Sierra, along with GarageBand and iMovie. iMovie will not run the latest version anymore, but you can download the last compatible version. <sighs> How about Safari though? You can see here, well, I can still use everything I need to. I'm going to go to my YouTube studio here. You can see there, it loaded quite nicely. Almost. <laughs> there we go. So you can see here, I'm able to view my YouTube status, all that kind of stuff. And once it loads, yeah, this, there will be a bit of slowdown. It's not the fastest Mac with only a Core 2 Duo Mac, or with only a Core 2 Duo CPU. And you can see right here, you do have to scroll through as the screen isn't the best. This MacBook Pro screen is only a 1280 by 800 screen, so it's not the best display in the world, but I will give it that it is vibrant and it is bright, as you can see here. That is quite bright and it has a lot of range as well. So you can see it goes quite dim, but I can put the brightness up, have it a decent brightness, and yeah. Okay, well this thing is technically still supported, so let's move to an older Mac, and that's even older than this guy. So I'm back with this guy here. This is a 2008 iMac, and this guy doesn't get anything higher than Mac OS X El Capitan. So let's boot this guy up. There we go. So this guy is now booting into OS X. Should be at least. Yeah, there it goes. Um, I would use my Mac Pro, which is in the other room, to demonstrate this, but I just made a video on that guy, and I barely ever brought this guy out. So, uh, so here we go. I guess with this iMac, it is a Core 2 Duo machine with some, with the amazing ATI graphics card, <laughs> or with an amazing ATI graphics card. And I've got some Bluetooth accessories here. I've got the Magic Mouse, the one with the lightning port. LCAP does officially support this guy. And I've got the original Magic Keyboard, which works on a lot of old Macs. Now, this guy is not actually paired, uh, so hopefully this works okay. And immediately, I think we run into a problem where, yeah, I don't think this is going to work.
So this is a Mac that is stuck on macOS 10.11, El Capitan. So this Mac does not get updates anymore at all. The App Store is 100% useless for system updates. It doesn't give them to you anymore unless you initially install. But yeah, the system, if I go to the About This Mac menu up here, this Mac lost support in 2018, uh, late 2018 around there. It's got three gigs of RAM. I'm gonna probably bump that up just a little bit later on. It had four. I needed the two gig DIMM for another computer, but now I actually have another two gig damn that I will put in this guy later. So how is this Mac to use, or how is this Mac, uh, how is this Mac to use, can't sp how good is this Mac in 2020? Well, with El Cap, you definitely are limited. It doesn't get security updates anymore, but is that a problem? Not necessarily. Running an old Mac like this is actually not as dangerous as you might think. It's not like Windows 7 that just got cut off not too long ago. Because Macs aren't usually targeted for viruses as of 2020, not. They, they, viruses do exist, I'm not saying they don't, but they're a lot less um, prominent on Macs like these, especially older ones where they try to target newer Macs. Not all the software will like eventually Max will get old enough to the point where viruses don't even support the computers so it won't even run but you don't want to get so old to the point where well, you can't even use the darn thing. Now what will this computer do though? Is it a good editing machine? Well if you need to edit videos at let's just say 1080p, um, sure. If you're only doing 1080p at 24 or 1080p at 30, that's decent um, with the video editor that Apple made, iMovie here, right there. This is decent. The, that iMovie is decent on El Cap with the 30 FPS, um, with the 30 FPS uh, footage. 60 FPS footage though is not great. Um, it will stutter. It will lag. It's overall just not a good experience. Is this Mac though a decent Mac? Honestly, El Cap isn't that old. It's it really has aged well. Um, it even has. If if someone were to look at this computer and see the operating system that it run or ran. Chances are they wouldn't think much of it. They'd probably say, oh, it's a Mac. It looks like a Mac. It's new looking like a Mac. <laughs> but yeah, this guy is actually pretty decent. Um, with software, the sound is amazing. So this Mac is pretty decent. It's not all that powerful, um, but it is decent. But as the video is showing, it's not showing the powerfulness of the Mac. It's showing the software that the Mac supports. And this is a Mac with L cap and do you really need security updates for these guys? I honestly have to say no. You really don't need security updates for these guys. If you are someone who needs to buy a Mac for cheap and you could buy like one of these guys for example, then I would suggest going for it. If you, if you can't update the system anymore, you can, if you have a 2008 like this guy, you can put a newer operating system on there. But So I would say if you can get security updates and there are ways, like, if you know a way to do it, such as using the DOS dude patcher to put at least High Sierra on this guy, um, I would do it. So excuse the bad frame rate, as you can see I'm moving my mouse, it's not all that smooth. This Mac isn't the most powerful. So if I go to the App Store here, which is something that I was mentioning earlier, security updates really aren't, it's really not something that really shows up anymore. You go to updates here and it's not going to show anything. You can see it's checking for updates. It's not gonna get very far, but let's move. This is, yeah, no updates available, there we go. But yeah, so there's the security updates. But can you actually use a Mac that is this old in 2020? Well, honestly, I can say yes. You really can use a Mac that is this old, especially because the 2007s and later, since they got El Cap, it really makes them much more modern machines. So, such as I can go to Safari here, and once this loads, it'll take ages, of course. Now there is a bug, and this is a very unfortunate, where I, I or I can't speak, where iCloud won't sync bookmarks uh, to El Cap. That's just how it is. It will show frequently visited stuff like this, uh, but it it will not show that um, any synced bookmarks. You're gonna turn it on, turn it off all day. It won't do it. Like you can turn off iCloud bookmarks, you can turn them on, like you can flip it back on and off, it's not going to do it, but. So here we go loading my YouTube analytics, and yeah, you can see it's actually working perfectly fine. This is Safari version 11, so this isn't 
This isn't the newest, uh, well, it's not the newest version of Safari, but it's not really, you don't really need the latest version. 10 is 10, 11 is still fairly usable. Everything works, it works pretty well. In fact, I'm just gonna open some clothes there. I'm just gonna open some other software here, such as, you can use a calculator, that's easy enough. This Mac still has dashboard, uh, newer Mac OS versions don't have it. Uh, VMware works perfectly, perfectly fine. Uh, let's open the photo booth here and let's see. Because this guy actually does support iMessage, it supports FaceTime, it supports all of that. And yeah, there you go. You can see uh, it is working perfectly fine, uh, the webcam is. Not going to take any pictures or anything like that though, but you don't really need to. But so close that guy out of there. Didn't mean to do that. But you can see even El Cap, something this old, is perfectly fine. And you don't even need that new of a Mac to run it. This El Cap runs on the latest Xserve. It will run on a 2007 or later iMac. It will run on a 2008 uh, MacBook or later. Uh, it will well. It will run on the 2008 aluminum MacBook. It will run on a 2008 MacBook Pro or later. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that though. I'll bring up a little page in just a moment. It will run on a 2009 Mac Mini or later, and it will run on. What was the last thing? I'm missing something. Uh, it will run on a 2000, and I think even a 2008 MacBook Air or later. So, so yeah, that is a lot of options there for El Cap. And then again, El Cap seriously is still a modern, usable system. Now, unfortunately, El Cap does not have Siri for people who do use it. I am one of them. That's why I moved over to a different operating system, which was High Sierra, which doesn't even, High Sierra doesn't even require that much from Macs. You need a 2010 MacBook Pro or later, a 2009 polycarbonate MacBook or later, 2010 MacBook Air or later, 2009 iMac or later, late 2009, early 2009s cannot run it, unfortunately. But yeah, you can see that's a lot there. Uh, what was I going to say? There's a lot um, of Macs that you can buy, a lot of old ones that will run this software, and even Macs that don't support it. Like, let's say you're getting the oldest Mac Pro, that's what I have in my other room, um, those will run El Cap, and that's a 2006. That's not officially supported, but it will run it. So, and if you have a compatible graphics card, it will run basically like a, a new Mac. It's pretty darn sweet, actually. So, go follow, go watch my other video if you missed that video. But, so yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, then give it a like, click subscribe, and well, yeah. So to conclude, can you use an old Mac, not even running the latest software anymore? And the answer is, I would say yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. and. I